Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great fr freaking Friday. We're going to start off our live stream early today at uh, 730. We're going to check in on Philly 500 and the Philadelphia Eagles and get <coughs> excuse me, his reaction. I've got a bit of a cold here. Forgive me. I've been actually passed the F out for the last few hours. Um, I've had some kind of a sinus cold that literally had me passed out. Um, but just because I'm sick doesn't mean that the work ends. It's kind of cool when um, things that you say that others agree with, you know, it's kind of like validation. And I've been talking at nauseam as nauseated as I feel right now about 12 personnel and how that can be the key for our Cowboys offense. And for those who don't know what 12 personnel means is the second number is the number of tight ends. So if you have 11 personnel, that means it's one tight end. If you have 12 personnel, then it's two tight ends. If you were to have 13 personnel, that would be three tight ends. But very rarely is anybody ever in 13 personnel. But 12 personnel is a staple of typically old school running the football because basically your tight ends were like offensive linemen. In today's NFL, the difference is, is you have more athletic pass-catching wide receivers. Um, you saw Jason Witten was one of the really first early ones that became a big weapon, and since then you've seen how the tight end position has elevated to the statute stats of uh, wide receivers. When you think of guys like uh, Dallas Goddard and uh, you think about um, Kelsick and um, out in San Francisco and so on. Dalton Schultz, in fact, was um, one of our, he had more yards than almost anybody else on the team there, almost as much as Amari Cooper as a tight end. Uh, interception by the Lions. Um, and so you've seen the elevation of that. Well, here's an article on Blogging the Boys. Shout out to Blogging the Boys today, and they're talking about just that. Jake Ferguson, who unfortunately has been dealing with a hamstring issue for most of training camp, who is back on the field now, and they're talking about how he could be to a key to the offense. And this is the difference of uh, Dalton Schultz. Is Dalton Schultz is a great pass catcher, but he's not a great uh, blocker. But here's where it gets interesting is when you go through this article, they go through 12 personnel usage by the Cowboys. The Cowboys had a success rate in 12 personnel almost better than anybody in the NFL. Not just running the football, but if you have good tight ends that can catch the football, then what you're doing is, is you're forcing the defense to say, hmm, is Zeke Elliott going to run the ball with, in, in essence, seven running backs? In which case, we got to put power on power or... Are they going to pass out of this? And this is where you can really get creative. Basically, you're having two wide receivers, but you look at Dalton Schultz and say, he can be a wide receiver. This is where you also look at and say that Tony Pollard can also go out of the backfield, make an empty backfield, and become a slot wide receiver too. So you're really looking at this where the possibility is that you actually have four or five wide receivers out of this and that's the conundrum for the defenses and so here's the thing here's the the, the least the success rate so 2019 we ran it 18 percent of the time um we which we were tied for 14th using it um we were successful on it 53 percent of the time pass rate 37 percent of the times we passed out of it we we're successful 59 percent of the time that's great that's amazing now, last year, we were using it more than any other time, and that was when we were really healthy earlier part of the season. Once Dalton Schultz went down, we kind of slowed down on using the person, uh, 12 personnel, and we didn't use it at all against the 49ers. And so you see that our success rate was 56% of the time in 12 personnel. That's Guys, that's above the normal. So as it goes on in this article here, the two tight end set is a staple of the offense Kellen Moore ran when he was a quarterback at Boise State, so it should be no surprise that he's making use more of 12 personnel since taking over the offense. What is surprising, at least somewhat, is how effective the Cowboys have been in 12 personnel in 2021. Dallas had a higher success rate on both run and pass plays out of 12 personnel than any other group. 
Understand that. You got, you know, y'all like five, uh, five wide outs of shit. You love that. But this, it may not be exciting like that, but this works. This works. And we got away from the second half of the season. That's all the justification more needs to ramp up the use even more. And considering the Cowboys' success rate of 53 in 12 personnel last year, running more of it would seem to line up the overall scheme of a stronger running game that the offense has been filled in with. Dalton Schultz, the Cowboys' tight end, said as much. Run the damn ball. Oh, sorry. Sorry, West Coast. Run the ball. We have a great offensive line, great running backs, complete with deep balls and just attacking. We want to keep the defense on its heels. I think more you, the more you can do that, the more success you have in the league. Thank you, Captain Obvious, but true. And here's the thing. Um, we're worried about our offensive line. Our offensive line is in transition. And, you know, right now we had Tyron Smith literally lipping off the field yesterday in practice, and we haven't gotten to the season yet. We've got... <coughs> <coughs> Tyler Smith, we don't know why he's not, you know, penciled in as a starter. We have Connor McGovern basically as a starting guard. Having two extra linemen or two tight ends to help in the running game might not be the worst idea. At least it will help the running game, and we need to get this running game going. The other part of this is typically with 12 personnel, you're going to have two wide receivers. And with us having a lack of wide receivers right now, hence Michael Gallup being injured, this would be the wise move to be able to use it. And the Cowboys will definitely rely on it even more. So shout out to blogging the boys. Uh, great minds think alike. Um, and I hope to see a lot of 12 personnel. I know it's an old school offense. I know it's not exciting and things like that. But I tell you what is exciting winning football games. That's what's exciting. So we will um, be doing our live stream here in a few minutes. We will be checking in and making sure that our Philly cam works because, of course, we, we have to see, see my boy, my boy, Philly 500, and see how uh, and if Jalen Hurts plays any of the first part of the game. I'm Mark Holmes, and I appreciate you. <coughs> you want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth. You can't Hurts. handle the, the truth. Hurts. The pass. Throws. Pick. Horrible pass. Oh, my God. 